Hey guys, this is uh, Jonathan with Southern Drone Ops. This is Aiden. This was our first uh, apprentice that we had for the Southern Drone Ops Summer Apprenticeship Program. It's kind of an idea I came up with after, I say I came up with it, several people had asked me about it. And actually it was uh, his mom that had actually approached me asking if there was anything that I was doing for the youth. He had expressed a lot of interest in drones and wanting to get into agriculture and wanting to, that to be his career when he got out of high school. Um, he's 17 now, uh, almost 18. 18, so we're going to have him out here doing some operations, you know, to have a cat license in Arkansas, the certified applicator technician, you have to have, you have to be 18. So um, for him, he can be out here for certain things like our remote sensing or scanning and things like that. But actual spraying operations, um, he can't be out here for, you know, some of those. He's not involved directly in the operation itself. So uh, today, since um, we're doing testing and we're not doing chemicals, we've got Aiden out here for it. And otherwise, um, you'll start seeing Aiden. I think he's wanting to do three or four days a week, which is great. He's going to get to learn a lot. He's studying for his 107. You only have to be 16 for that. So he's going to get that. He'll be 18 very, very soon to where he'll be able to have the cat license and he'll be out here. And then that'll be a very quick clip from him to go from that to full pilot status. You know, Grayson is our newest pilot that's going to be taking over our second team. And you're going to see Aiden and probably another four or five um, guys are going to be involved with this and this is something that if you want to be involved in or if you're a high school kid or you have a high school kid and you want them to be involved in agriculture and you want them to see the drones on this side because we're not just doing drones we're going to be doing tractor you know driving tractors and doing all kinds of things out in the agricultural you know growth cycle so i think it's great funneling youth back into agriculture because now with this tech it's getting to be fun we don't just sit around all day and dig and play in the dirt and get filled and not make any money or do anything. We actually do really well, especially in this part of the country. Agriculture is king. And I think it's something that doesn't get enough attention, not enough spotlight. And I think getting the youth involved in this and just seeing the fun stuff that we can do is gonna really get some kids uh, interested in it. So hopefully uh, if you like this, kind of share it on social media, on all the platforms, let everyone see what they can do. Everybody welcome Aiden and you guys will see him in the videos and give him a shout out. and see if anybody else wants to come join us thanks guys so for today for i'm going to be teaching aiden you'll see him with the controller i'm actually putting just water in here so that's another reason he's out here for this operation is we're not doing any chemicals at all so we've had so much rain that i'm surprised you can't i'm not sinking into it but anyway i'm putting water in this so aiden's going to get some a little bit of time with it today to see how we map see how we do things and uh we will go from there So now we'll slide this here. So as you can see, it's gonna fly over there. I think I only chose, I can't see how many acres that is. It's not gonna be very many. So with this one, we increase our max speeds 32 feet per second. Application rate, we do anywhere from two to five. Two is what's called ultra low volume applications. So you'll see that on labels. A lot of things what you can start doing is getting like chemical labels and that can, um, you'll just read through those. It'll tell you the do's, the don'ts, what it's made of, um, essentially what we, uh, essentially what we will you know mix with first they'll give you your mix order so the drones are actually probably the easier part of this it's the um, knowing your chemicals knowing the wind winds are too high right now so hey paul how's it going good how are you Jonathan? oh good trying to land one of these birds right now uh, i just uh well, can you talk right now oh yeah go right ahead you can hold that Okay. Yeah, we got one more. Uh, my other pilots hold it. Yeah, so go ahead. We've got two drones and we're up and running. Uh, can we do uh, in ten hours roughly? Can we do five hundred acres each drone? Uh, on a T fifty, yes. That's okay. under perfect ideal conditions. To where if there was, um, if they're all right there together, and if you're doing like two gallons per acre, definitely. That's something you can definitely easily do. Um, okay. just with the, especially now since we've got not spraying approved. 
So I think that's something that will uh, increase our hours because I know before, like I said, you know, at, it's our best, at our best, about 50 acres an hour um, or 40 acres an hour is our best. This T50 I'm flying right now, I'm getting about to uh, about 58, yeah, about 50. Uh, now, if you're doing like fungicides or something like that, it's gonna be a little different. Uh, it's gonna drop down to about 35, but you're gonna be able to charge a higher rate with that as well, though. So, that's okay. where... Um, so, on spraying fungicides or uh, for spraying for bugs, whatever uh, you spray for, um, what's the average, uh, if you're, say you're spraying an average of 400 acres, and whatever it is, well, the overall average if we're spraying crops, mm -hmm. what, what is it per drone with the T50? Per How drone? Much are we making every day? So, oh, ideally, if we had, you know, perfect world, um, we're going to charge $15 per acre. So, at, say, ballpark lower figure, we're going to be looking at, um, well, at... 400 acres a day at 15. I mean, you're looking at 6,000 per drone. Um, that's going to be an ideal, perfect day. Um, and with the way, you know, you know how, how ag is, it's going to be weather based solely. So I've had days where I've ran for 21, 22 days straight and made my entire, you know, three months. And then there's times when you can't fly for 10 days. So as long as you're willing to put your time and your days out, I mean, there's uh, there's as much there as you want to make. Okay, and what's the average size farm in the Midwest, would you guess? Out in the Midwest, you guys are going to be better than us. So here in the South, our average farms are going to be about two to 3,000 acres. Most of those together are going to be no more than five to 600 acre plots. I've got guys out in Iowa, Nebraska, things like that. And those guys have, you know, 15, 20,000 acre farms and they've got 1,500 acre swaths that are all right there together. Okay, so if you're, like, if you've got the 3,000 acres all together, you, do you plan uh, uh, on, uh, if you got two drones, you plan on about four days to spray it out? Two drones to spray out how many acres? Uh, 3,000. 3,000 acres, two drones, two T50s running all day yes at 3,000 I would say I'm gonna give myself room I'm gonna give myself four days but okay, four at days. yeah but you're looking at 3,000 acres uh, hold one yeah. sec hold one sec oh is that good yeah. uh, Caleb is it you, oh I thought you, I thought you were motioning to me did you need no, me no, you're good. okay I'm just I'm just doing manual um, so at three I mean at 3,000 acres at $15 an acre I mean you can you can multiply that out pretty quickly that's 45 grand I mean that's gonna be a uh, that's gonna be a day, uh, depending on your labor, depending on things like that. And that's why I've told you the people that get one drone from me and they finance it, after the after about 12 weeks, about three months, they're calling back to get a second one and they're not paying off that first loan. They're getting their second drone. And then two to three weeks, or not two, three weeks, probably half that time, six weeks later, they're either getting a third drone or they're paying off their loan and then they're restructuring. Uh, then at that point, their biggest issue is, is actually having enough pilots trained and equipment at that point. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's going to be difficult for us to get uh, other pilots be beyond the two of us in the beginning. Uh, my youngest son has got another year past August in the Air Force in Alabama. Mm -hmm. And I think he might be interested in coming along, but uh, especially if we prove that, you know, show what we're able to make, I'm pretty sure he'll come along. Um, and so it's about nine months of the year, roughly. Um, we probably have to come out of Montana because, uh, man, their their winters are legitimately five, six months of you know where it's below thirty degrees. And, uh, but you know, it's like it's six solid months, and we're making, you know, gosh, hundred and fifty grand. Yeah, I mean. One second. 